Hello and happy Friday. Welcome to the channel. This is Fridays with Brandon and today on Fluke Fridays episode number 120 we're going to talk about how do you measure capacitance with a fluke multimeter or clamp meter and why you might need to do that. So let's jump into it. Okay so I have two capacitors here and these are going to be on like um, motors for your air conditioner and whatnot and that might be why you want to measure capacitance is probably going to be because you have a capacitor and you have a motor that's either not running uh, like your air conditioner at your house or if you're in an industrial environment you maybe have a motor that's not starting up or not running properly and you need to check either the run or the startup capacitor so um, in both of these you can see they have a rating this one's five microfarads and then this one is 15 microfarads and then it says plus or minus 10 percent so um, that's what it is I wanted to get a capacitor that was not working, but I couldn't. I got my hands on two of these and they do work. So how would you do it? Well, you can use a multimeter. You can use a pretty basic multimeter like this. You can use a more advanced multimeter like this, or you can use a clamp meter. Really doesn't matter as long as it has this little capacitance symbol, that little yellow symbol right there that stands for capacitor. This same symbol right here in yellow, and then this same symbol in here in yellow. On some of the fluke multimeters, it might be in white and you don't have to use the function key. But for all of these, we're gonna have to turn the dial to where we see the capacitance, but then we're gonna have to also hit the, the uh, function key. So you can see right now I'm in resistance. So I have ohms over here. The moment I hit this function key, it then goes to microfarads, okay? We'll get to that one here in a second. Same with this, you would turn to it. See, it turns to microfarads, now we're good to go. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and take our readings. And I'll try to hold this up so it's a little closer to the screen. And you can see, I'm just gonna touch these, touch the test leads, one to either terminal. And you see there's five microfarads, just over five microfarads, that's good. And here's the 15 microfarad one capacitor. Touch it. And you can see that you can actually do it either way. The um, positive and negative does not matter with a capacitor. Um, at least for this test, it doesn't seem to. It'll measure it either way. Uh, the other thing is if you've just pulled this out of your air conditioner or out of an energized circuit, you do want to let it discharge, either give it time or set um, a piece of metal across there to um, short it out and discharge it. Once discharged, then you can uh, do this test safely. Okay, here's on a, mold, on a clamp meter just so we can try a different instrument. Again, I'll show you the same thing because it's in yellow. We're going to have to hit the function key. We're seeing microfarads, and now you take your test leads. It's kind of a rinse and repeat process, very simple. 15 amps, or 15 microfarads, sorry, I misspoke. Five, 4.9. Again, we can do one more. And what you'd see if you had a bad one uh, a bad capacitor, you would see significantly lower results outside of that 10% because the manufacturer of the capacitor says it can be within 10%. So a good capacitor for a five amp, five microfarad capacitor could be um, five to what? Five, five and a half to four and a half. So we're good on both of these. So. Hopefully that was helpful. This is a quick video this week, but you guys have been asking for applications that you seem to really like when I use the tools on something. I, want, I thought this was a, a very simple way of understanding your multimeter and what you could use it for um, both around the house and in an industrial environment. So I hope this was helpful. Leave any comments or questions below if you have any of those. And don't forget if you watch more than three videos on this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe and give a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks and uh, have a great weekend. Talk to you next week.